All right, well today we're in the shop, in the wood shop part of my shop, and I've got my son, Drake, and I'll try and point to him. Oh, where's that? Drake there. I got Van and Brig. They've got a school project where they have to simulate the tectonic plates, and they've decided to do what kind of a plate? Strike slip fault. A strike slip fault where they slide together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking um, a bunch of raw materials, wood here, and with some bungee cords, we're gonna set it up to where they can slide across each other to simulate the vibrations of an earthquake. So a little bit of a deviation from what I might normally do, but uh, this is part of the fun of they have in the shop and helping these guys use a lot of different tools they wouldn't use otherwise. So, so here's, the, here's the drawing that they submitted to their teacher. And so he's gonna go through it real quick and explain what the plan is. So here we have one piece of wood that we've cut in a zigzag angle and we're gonna file or sand these parts down so then they can gain some friction against each other like the tectonic plates when they slide so they um, will get stuck a little bit and then they'll go like that. And so we have the post right here with bungees that wrap around a pulley that would, which will be on it and <clears throat> we use a scale that hooks up to the side of it and when you pull it, it'll um, gain friction, it'll stop and once you start keep, when you, once you keep pulling even more, it'll slip and you'll get the strike slip fault. All right. Okay, so we need a base. So we're using this giant piece of wood as the base, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So we'll cut up a couple of these smaller pieces in the pattern and we'll use some band saws, probably some jigsaws for that. And we'll figure out how to make the pulleys. So, you guys ready? Yep. All right, go. <laughs> Someone grab it. Okay, <laughs> and I'll probably have to pull this off. Go we'll slide them together, see how they fit. real well but we can go lock the drill off. <laughs> yeah. And hey, you know what? Where you try. Alright, you got the table. Did I do it too short? Yeah, like an inch. I know, let's see. I can probably did it too short. Oh, no, I think you're max stretching that so let me yeah. <laughs> try that. Is that enough or not? Still short. Yeah, we got it. It's fine. Let's see. You're not cold. Oh, what, what, y'all? Um, rock, rock, thing. Kind of the same with Drake, right? Yeah. Drake is the A couple people can't cheat up for it. That was only eight. Okay, planner and. <laughs> you guys ready? Yep. All right, well, it looks like mission accomplished. They've got to do some fine tuning for their presentation in class, but they got to use a lot of different to tools. What were some of the tools you guys got to use? You got to use band a palm saw. sander. Um, so, a palm sander, bandsaw, bandsaw drill, Blade. planer, Blades. Hand pl electric hand planer, um, the machine lathe. Oh, and uh, miter chop saw. So they got to use a lot of new tools for themselves. The best one was the Winchester 9422 for a little bit, of, little bit of steel plinking in the middle of the project. Uh, but they did a great job. They're excited about the results and look forward to seeing how they do in the presentation. So I'm Derek Oxen with Rusted Ox. Join us next time. <laughs>